All right, what we're going to do in this video is we're going to do some descriptive statistics for the central tendency um, operations. And first, what I like to do is um, I like to have a separate tab for my data. I'm going to copy and paste the data into the descriptive statistic tab. And I, as you can see, I've already do, done that. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to do the operations for the various um, central tendencies commands. But first, even before I do that, I'm going to sort the data from lowest value to the highest value. So I'm, I, at the end of the data, I'm, I highlighted a cell, clicked into a cell. I'm going to go to sort and file. I'm going to go to sort A to Z. And as you can see now, it's from the lowest to the um, highest. All right. What I want to do now is the operation. The means or the average, it's very easy to do. All you do is go to formulas, more functions, and this is just one of the ways of doing it, by the way. Um, I'm going to go to average. Average is the same as the means. And now I'm going to do is click in on number one box. It's already there. I'm going to click into A2 because you cannot use labels. I'm going to do uh, control shift down arrow key. And there you go. Uh, now I um, have the means. I'm going to do the same for the median. Statistics. Find median. There it is there. And same as I did before. A2, control, shift, down arrow key. And there's your means at the, at the halfway mark. Now I'm going to do quartile once, which will um, divide the data into into division to quartile divisions or quarter divisions I'm going to get the lower quartile now I'm going to go again more functions statistics quarterly inclusive because I'm only using that data there all right now array is just a data set control down arrow set and this will have to say one okay and for same for the third quarter, which is the um, divides up the data into quarters. I'm going to go down to quartile again. I got to find it first. PQ. There it is. And same operation, same commands. But this time, instead of one, I'm going to type in three because I'm going for the third quartile. And there's your quartiles. Now the range is very easy. It's just um, Equal, you're just subtracting the highest value, which is a, which is 47, minus 2, which is in the A2 cell, and there's your range. Interquartile is the same, do the same type of operation, but this time you're going to go from the third range minus the first quartile, third quartile minus the first quartile, and there's your uh interquartile range variance this will go back up to more function statistics go down to the variance I'm going to go to variance for sample same type of procedure control shift down arrow and there's your quartile for uh, variance excuse me there's your variance which is just a spread for the means again. Standard deviation is another spread from the means, which you will find in most research papers, standard deviation as opposed to the variance. So I'm going to go to standard deviation sample. Again, same type of procedure, control down. And there's your variance. And finally, the coefficient, which is a way of comparing data sets between data sets between two data sets in this instance um, but we only have one data set but we're going to get the coefficient variance just to show how it's done now this is an operation that you have to press equal and what it is is the standard deviation divided by the means times 100 some videos you might see will not do the times 100 but in this case I'm going to do the times 100 and there's your co coefficient of variation. Now, what I recommend is that you read up on these commands to know more about the concepts and so forth. All right. 
next video I'm going to show you is how to use another command to do the central tendency or the descriptive statistic. All right, that's about all I have to say.